Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru. It is June 15th, 2024. I'm here for my Wordle and Quirtle of the Day and for Go Fly a Kite Day in honor of Benjamin Franklin's experiments with kites and electricity. And look at this amazing blue whale kite. Astounding. I'm going to go ahead and use kites as my inspiration word for the day. Now, I know, starting a word with a K, probably not the wisest thing. But we do have a T-E-S in here and an I, so I'm a little hopeful. I am not hopeful at all. <laughs> all right, so let's see what else we can do here. So that did not work out one tiny bit. All right, so we haven't tried R, L, N. That's all we have left behind is R L N. That's going to be hard to put those together without an E. I want to do learn. That doesn't work. What other vowels do we have? A O U and sometimes what should be a Y but isn't. And sometimes Y. Okay, so right away I see the word round that would use up the R, the N, the O, and the U. It would include a D, and I like D as a letter here. I like D and G mostly, if I have to go beyond. Um, o, A, L, R. I don't know how to get those together. Renal, but no, I can't use the E. I th I think that's good enough, round. Oh, that's more than good enough. That's not perfect, but wow. Four-fifths of the puzzle we have. We're looking at four-fifths of the puzzle, one in its proper place. Now, Mm. If the O and the U don't go there, do they go together? Is it like U-O? Or could we just shift this over? We've got another blend letter. So what if we do O-U-R? Proud. Oh, I bet it's proud. Could it be anything else? Can't be crowd spelled that way. I think it's worth repeating the D to try the word proud. Yep, yep, got it. Okay, so let's clean up and move on to our quirtle of the day. And I've got fishy, budge, clown, tramp. I have got bride. I can go here, D can go here. Actually, D has to go here, so that works. Um, S T O T, Stody, Stosy, Stosy, Stokesy, Stogy, Stokey, Stovey. Um, that doesn't look right. I don't know about that one yet. Let's look at this one, wagon. I think. That's what I see right away anyway. Let's see if it can work and then if we can anagram it to be anything else. W can go here, A can go here, G can go here, O can go here, N goes here. Gowan, Gowan, Wogan, Aguan. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure it's Wagon. I can't see an anagram of that. Oh, look at that. We've Oh, no, we already had that O. We've got it. Oh, I didn't even think of a double O, which I should have, but it doesn't go there. Sooty. But that helped me to figure out maybe maybe this is a double O. Now I at least have something to go on. All right, so we've got the G placed here, though. C-L-I-O-G. Um, logic. L can go here, O can go here, G, I can go here, C can go here. 
With that blend of letters, I don't think we could anagram that into anything else, especially when we know the G is right there. Okay, so that leaves us to this. Oh, we got the O. It's sooty because the T can't go here, so it has to go here. If the T goes here, the S has to go here. I love it when there's just no other options. We don't have to guess. It's sooty. All right, that was a pretty good one for me today. I hope it went as well for you. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.